Hey, I was wondering just around the area looking for stuff when I came across Nuriel fighting off some bandits. And I figured, eh, might as well record this since we ran into him right here and now. Lord, look what they've done. Kushidera Temple deserves reverence, not bloodshed. Centuries of wisdom lie within those walls. And the Mongols were ready to torch it all to the ground. They attacked for a reason. The temple gives people hope. The abbot's been telling people to pray for a great storm to wash the invaders from our home. Now the abbot's missing. And the brutes stole the most sacred relic in Toyotama. A statue of Buddha carved at the temple's founding. My brother would have recovered then. He would have given these monks hope before they ran for the hills. And we honor his memory and restore the temple. The Mongols stole the statue of Buddha from the main hall. And the abbot? He and his closest followers fled. I'm hoping they found shelter. Oh, come on. That's like the third or fourth time it's done that. Just give me the full circle. I'll see to the monks. What are these? Oh, two more Norio quest. I'm really only doing this just because, you know, I'm already here and I already made Oh, that's a fox den too. I'll follow you later, little fox. I came to return something that was stolen. I never thought I'd see this again. One of your monks lost his life to protect it. That man was no monk. He was a peasant we'd taken in. One morning I woke to find him gone. Oh wow. Along with this statue and one of my robes. Then he wasn't a martyr. He was a thief. We are all subject to our choices. His ended in suffering. Oh, wow. So before I ran into Norio, I was doing a small side quest where I found this guy's dead body in a cemetery and he, and he was wearing a monk's robes. And I also found a statue near him. So apparently, according to this guy, he wasn't even a monk. Messed up. I thought I'd be forced to do that, that Nurio quest, but apparently not. That's just the start to the next set of quests from him. So let me follow this fox real quick. Yeah, I was really expecting to do some Nurio quest, but you know what? I think I did a bunch of his quests like, what, two parts ago? All right, here we go. Hey, all the charm power is increased, right? Or is it just specific charms? Okay. So I can do Nurio. You know, we haven't visited the Sensei in a while. Let's go do his quest. The ghost and the demon sensei. One of Tomoe's training camps is around here. Ah! The ghost! Don't kill me! What's going on? Man, Take whatever you want. People know me, huh? I'm not a thief. Everyone knows you're attacking caravans. The ghost and the demon sensei. Sensei Ishikawa? That's a lie. I've heard you myself. Heard us? When? Not long ago. Tearing up the road like starving wolves. I didn't do anything. Uh -oh, looks like we're being framed. God damn it. How are Sensei Ishikawa and I being blamed for highway robbery? The North, find out who's responsible.
can't believe we're being fucking framed. Then again, I can totally believe that. What was it? The bear. Hmm. I'm just gonna keep moving. I'm sure it was a bear or something. You just can't can't pick it up with my listening. Saw me. My turn. You're back. About time you showed up. You're welcome, Sensei. Oh man, he's lucky he didn't die. Of course. All these open spots. What happened here? His caravan was ambushed. Lots of attacks lately. People say you're stealing supplies. Or sided with the Mongols. Rest easy. I'll discuss this with Lord Sakai. Tomoe is behind this. She sows paranoia and fear. Attacking caravans, blaming us. I caught up to his group too late. Saved him, but not the others. Where was he ambushed? Close. Why? Find the ambush site. Track the rest of Tomoe's group to their camp. That makes sense. What's wrong? Nothing. She has me off balance. We'll put an end to that. Rest here. Eat the food I gave you. And wait a while before you leave. Thank you, Sensei. Show me where he was ambushed. Let's ride. Also, has anybody seen that Knuckles TV show trailer? Someone heard a convoy being chased. Pretty sick looking, I can't lie. Because of Tomoe. When I caught wind of a merchant chancing a supply run, I followed. Why would Tomoe attack supply runs in Kushi Prefecture? There's no strategic importance. No. But Kushidera Temple inspires people. Could be a Mongol effort to break morale here. You don't sound convinced. I think that's part of it. Not all. Tomoe betrayed everything I taught her. Then she betrayed me. And after me, her home. I'll hunt her past the horizon if I must. Yeah, but that knuckle show actually looks pretty sick. It's surprising that of all the movie adaptations we've gotten, in terms of movies at There's least, all the video game adaptations we've gotten. See what we can learn. It's Sonic the Hedgehog that's actually the most successful and somehow also the most accurate. From Tomoe. From Lord Sakai and Sensei Ishikawa. No travel is permitted on these roads. On pain of death. Crude, but effective. Man, I got the horse too. They took off down the road. And we'll find them. No other survivors. Japanese and Mongol arrows? Of course. This is the last time Tomoe and her men will ambush anyone in Kushi Prefecture. Come. Yeah, but as I was saying, it's surprising that Sonic the Hedgehog is the most accurate video game movie so far. Like, I couldn't stand the Assassin's Creed movie, because it has the same issue that the games always do. Hurry. Except in the movie's case, it's far worse. And the issue I'm bringing up is the fact that the games constantly here. feel the need to stop the plot in, in the animus. Now who's rushing in with his Hakama half tied? Yeah, it's the same thing that the video games have an issue with. Stopping the story in the animus 
and making it like cutting it like a breakneck speed and then deciding oh we need to go back to the present i'll cut her loose and learn what's going on in the present time that stuff gets annoying hold still and the movie does it so often, you barely spend any time in the animus. You know, the thing people actually came to the movie theater to see. No, please. No. We're here to help. She said... She said... Tomoe? What did she say? She said I could live until the samurai came. Oh. Oh, shit. No! On the ledge! Fucked up. They aim specifically for her first. Tomoe set a trap for us, and we walked right into it. I spoke with her two days ago. Tomoe? The captive. Heard her talking about a Japanese woman she saw with the Mongols. I asked her to find out where they were camped and... Report back. Wow. You did what? It could have gone the other way. We'd be standing over Tomoe's body instead. You talk about what it means to be a warrior. How Tomoe undermines that. But you and she are the same. You expect us to be perfect. Your uncle, me, Masako Adachi. But only a child expects perfection of his elders. Finish your thought, Sensei. We all carry weapons. We all choose between life and death. And you're too comfortable with that power. And if I weren't, I would be dead. And so would you, ghost. Not everyone can be a samurai. But we're all killers. We still have a camp in Otsuna to deal with. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up, Sensei. You could have at least uh, picked somebody who knew how to fight. You just picked a random woman. Like, this is part of the reason why I like doing the side quest. Because despite how honorable the samurai think, they are prone to make mistakes. Their way of seeing the world and doing things and the way to justify their decisions, it doesn't make them right every single time. They make mistakes. People die because of them. And because of their upbringing, they can't entirely understand the perspectives of every single person in Shushima. It's part of the reason why uh, Yuna has such a problem with them. Because none of the samurai grew up the way she did. None of them grew up as orphans. None of them grew up becoming slaves and being used like she was. So they wouldn't understand the things that she had to do in order to survive. There's really nothing close by but this. Uh, yeah, there really isn't. All right, let's do this. And I will just cut to when I approach. All right, guys. Are you Lord Saka? Yes, I am. Oh, looks like they got here early. He's the one who saw their camp. That's right, Sensei. Sakai. I really need a new controller Sensei to Shiko. stick his bar on the shit out of me. This Tomoe's work. She and her mongols have been busy. A woman here named Lan knows where to find her. Lead the way. You didn't put her up to this one too, did you, Sensei? She didn't let him off a little too easy though. I'd probably still be on his shit. How does she know where Tomoe's camp is? She stumbled on it while foraging in the woods. She's lucky to be alive. Everyone with her was killed. Damn. Everyone! Is your name Lan? Yes, my lords. The Mongols who did this to you, they were led by one of our own. Tomoe. 
I'll never forget that face. She used to ride with a group of thieves who lived here. That's not possible. Tomoe is from Umugi Prefecture. She found her way here. Her bow terrorized Utsuma for years. Wow. People used to say she could knock a falcon from the sky, blindfolded. This camp you found, where is it? In the forest, southwest of here. The b between the river and the western shore. Thank you. Damn her. The lessons I taught her, the secrets I shared. Oh, wasted. You old fool. Why did she lie to me? Wow. Tomoe never told you any of that. Before we fought, I offered to adopt Tomoe as my daughter. Make her samurai. For someone like her, that's quite a change in fortune. And I took it away. Because she's a hired killer. Because her sensei failed her. She fell back into the life she knew. It's one thing to wreck your chance at a better life, but to terrorize your own people. I am aware, Sakai. Are you? Can I count on you to do what needs to be done? We have a camp to find. Notice how he didn't give me a straight answer. Like, I like seeing Jin more and more confront Ish, the sensei about all of his problems and his mistakes. She has the Mongol Empire on her side. The more we damage her efforts, the more likely the Khan withdraws his support. We could use that to our advantage, drive a wedge between them. And if we did, and Tomoe abandoned the Mongol cause. After everything she's done, she deserves punishment. Mm -hmm. Even if she were willing to fight for us. Would you trust her? No. I was gonna say, it's like woman we spoke to said to it almost sounds like he's trying to justify and keeping her alive. It must have been years ago. Tomoe would have been young. In her teens, and holding her own among bandits. Hmm. Difficult for someone twice her age, and you never suspected anything. When she began her study with me, she hid a small blade in her sleeve, and she secretly hoarded food. I can see how you could overlook those signs. <sighs> there were others. I wanted to make her my heir so badly. I blinded myself to the truth. The camp should be nearby. Perfect terrain for archers lying in wait. Keep your eyes open. You know, her relation, Tomoe's relationship with the Sensei, is a lot like how Batman's relationship with Jason was. Like, Bruce adopted Jason. One, because Robin was too busy with the Teen... Dick was too busy with the Teen Titans. Stay low and find a good place to scout the camp. But also because of the fact that Bruce was impressed with Jason's skill of being able to take off the Batmobile's tire without setting off any of the sensors. Plus, Jason was already a homeless kid, so it made sense. But even from his early days as Robin, Bruce knew that Jason had tendencies. He was violent. He was arrogant. And there was no joke. There was a time where, um, wait, I'm about to say. How can anyone eat these arrows? Oh. There was a time where I think Dick, w no, Jason was on a scaffold with a, with a villain. And I want to say the villain like killed the kid or something, but he really pissed off Jason to the point where by the time Batman got to the scene, by the time Batman got to the scene, the guy was falling off the banister. And Jason was just looking down as he fell. Batman came up to Jason and he asked him what happened. Jason just says he fell. And Batman just stares him down, but he doesn't question it. He just goes, okay. Like way before Joker beat him to death, Jason had homicidal tendencies. Bruce just decided to ignore them. You know, the boy was his son. Like, and I get it. Every parent wants to think that their kid is not capable of doing such horrible things. Oh, 
She was seen here recently. Look around. Yeah, got my arrows back. And I got a Mongol artifact. Something back here. I thought I saw something glistening. Damn. People being hanged and impaled. This game does not fuck around. Okay, I need something to analyze here. And I guess the sensei expects me to find it. What's this? Oh, sticky bomb. Oh man, come on, where is it? Sensei, over here. Uh, is the saddle? Oh, footprints. Could be Tomoe. The sensei and the ghost. I'm getting tired of you two. Your archers are dead. It's over. Ambush. You know, for somebody who's been, you know, for a bunch of people who were trained by a master, they're horrible. At actually hitting me. They've had numerous chances to actually just pick us off while we were distracted. This only ends one way. <laughs> There's nowhere to go, Tomoe. Come on, buddy, keep moving. I don't know why he was slowing down there. Yoro Sakai, the sensei's new pet. And you're a gifted archer who had a chance at a better life and threw it away. Is that what he told you? Tomoe, why are we talking? So I can warn you to watch your back. My sensei tried to kill me. He'll try the same with you. Thanks for the warning, but I'm here to end this. It's already over. I have nothing. No one. Put the bow down, Tomoe. Has she lost her mind? Come on, boy. Gotta go investigate. All right, here we go. I was looking for a way down. There we go. No sign of her. I should tell Sensei go. Yeah, this is deep water. She most likely survived that fall. I love the fact that I can just fast travel in the middle of missions. As long as I'm not in combat, I'm pretty sure I can fast travel whenever I want. Thanks, Kage. Shot. Tomoe could have killed me, but she didn't. You let her get away. She jumped off a cliff. I saw her. You saw what she wanted you to. She sounded desperate. She is, because of us. Why does she think you'll turn on me? 
She doesn't. She's trying to drive a wedge between us. And it's working. No, it's not. Good. But the next time you wonder if I can do what's needed, ask yourself first. The Moye isn't finished yet. I guess they shall go north to curry favor with the Mongols. We'll find her. Pretty sure that's the last of the sensei's quest, at least in during the second act of the game. All there's really left to do right now is to finally do the Yarikawa story mission and the other two Norio quests. Yeah, you see? Nothing else here but the Norio and this, so in the next video I'll deal with the walls of Yarikawa, then I'll probably do these, and then after that we will take Castle Shimura. So thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay warm, or cool, depending on where you live. And I will see you all next time. Peace.